Hi, my name is Jim Ciandella with Faltech. Today, with the help of the Faltech demonstration and training trailer, we're going to be talking about the importance of calculating your total fall clearance from your anchor point to the ground using a six-foot pack-style shock-absorbing lanyard. During my training, I always ask the question, how much total fall clearance do you need to allow for from your anchor point to the ground when you're using a six-foot shock-absorbing lanyard? And the number one answer I always get is 12 feet. The anchor point we're going to be using today is approximately 13 feet off the ground. So with that number one guess, we should have plenty of fall clearance, correct? Let's find out. Let's do the first drop. So what happened here? The user hit the ground. So quite obviously, they did not calculate their total fall clearance needed when using a six foot shock absorbing lanyard. So the total clearance calculation that we need to take into account here is as follows. First off, you have to start with the total lanyard length, which is six feet. Then you have to add in your total elongation distance, which is another four feet. So that's 10 feet total so far. Then we have to add in one foot of harness stretch or dorsal D-ring shift, as well as an additional five feet measured from the back D-ring to the ground. And finally, your one and a half foot safety factor for a total of 17 and a half feet total fall clearance needed for a six foot pack style shock absorbing lanyard. 